Hello and welcome to SnowRunner Mod Review. I'm UK Gamer 808 and today we are looking at the Behemoth Titan 813 by Zyden. Now this came out a few days back and there has been an update for this one but I think it will be available today. The thumbnails changed and the mod is currently down because I think it's being updated. So hopefully we will get the new addition to this today. So let's go into the garage and I'll show you what options are available for the behemoth. Right, so into the garage. Now, engine-wise, you can see we've just got the standard engine and the same with the gearboxes as well. Now, this is, isn't OP whatsoever, but it will get the job done, no problems. Then we have got a raised on there as well. I think we use that raised today. And then we go down to the tyre options. Now, there was a little bug on these tyres where some of them weren't quite fitting right. And the update should sort that out, basically. Because I know somebody will say something in the comments. And it's like, yeah, well, they're all being sorted. And hopefully, we'll get an update for it today. But as you can see, there's plenty of tyre types available for it. And then we go on to winch wise and we haven't got autonomous which is a bit of a shame i always like to have autonomous especially the way i drive it makes stuff a lot easier but we've got the four normal winches snorkel got three different snorkels available on the back there just like that and i suppose we better have one of them really haven't we and then frame add-ons quite a few different frame add-ons available so it makes it pretty universal you can do what you want with it really which uh, I like that. And then moving on to the next set, we have miscellaneous, where we've got some horns and different beacons and what have you, just like that. And then front bumper wise, we've got four of those available. I think we we'll leave that one standard. Rims, I think it was just two, yeah, the two different rims available. And then going on to color choices, and um, we've got quite a few different colors available as you can see plenty plenty there and then no bobbleheads or any of that i'm afraid so we're down on now what map is this rogers point isn't it now that's what i've done so far and i thought what we'd do is we're going unlock some watch towers so we could do we're going up to that one up there so i think if i just head the way i'll put a couple of markers there and then hopefully it looks like there's a little bit of a gap there so we'll bring that marker to there and then we'll head our way up that way. We can do a bit of off-roading. Now I've already had a drive around with this and uh, I do like overpower, but this is this is lovely. It's nice to drive. And where's the, which way am I going? I'll tell you what, I'm lost already. Yeah, you're turning left. Not bloody hard, is it? Come on. Right, so let's get down the hill. We'll stick it into all-wheel drive. And you're already, you're not going down that hill, you want to go down that way. Now, come on, sort yourself out. Now let's get down the hill and get to those points and then we will do a bit of off-roading. So, there we go. So, yeah, like I was saying, this hasn't got OP, but it's not slow. It just gets the job done and I find it pretty good everywhere you need it to it would be nice to have it on the gearbox the the plus and the minus on the l on the look the low range box but it is what it is you never know we might change it and inside on this one we'll get back like going inside now he has actually got the interior on this one and we have got working mirrors as you can see just like that and I'll tell you what I'm on the PS5 and I can't wait till we get these settings to remove this fog because that is just horrendous now I also play on PC as well and on PC we've got the option to remove the fog and it is nothing like what it is on the PS5 it's it's horrible it really is it's just there uh, you know it's nice to see a bit of mist but it can be like that at 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Or, uh, we seem to, it, well, it does on my game anyway. It's always terrible. It really is. Right, now we've got a nice open 
area and let's have a look see what time it is now so it is eight half past eight and we go over the overall look of this and it is a beast it really is i do like it it's a nice bit of kit nice to see these older type of vehicles in the game it's nice to have new it's nice to have old but yeah looking good so what is it like off-road well it just gets the job done doesn't have any problems with it and we better put it in let's put that down there we can go and pick up that watchtower oh that's not too bad hopefully we can get down through here because i haven't skated any of rogers point and it's nice to see these new maps come in for console mods oh it is oh and that was easy enough so there's the watchtower nice we like that will it show us anything oh yes it will but look at that mist it's horrendous isn't it it really is do you have problems with mist on your games on ps well on console basically let me know in the comments so i thought we'd go across there but we're obviously not going to go about there so we may as well recover back to the garage and then we can head back up that other way i think is the easiest plan recover and off we go because now we just want to go a right and a right and we'll head and we'll head up that way or oh, forget to turn the bloody notifications off that's discord for you right let's go i probably should have tried it with a a trailer or anything but we'll leave it as it is i think for the time being this um, this terrain, this map is awesome, it really is. It's all over the place, the terrain is. Um, that's what I like, as you'll see, as we're, we're just going up the main road to go up to this watchtower, but it's, um, I've already been up here, and it, it's an awesome terrain. Love it, and here comes the rain. And I didn't see what... Oh, yeah, we have got a 500-litre fuel tank, which is... Uh, pretty nice and what we're burning for like five to six and I'll tell you what I still haven't yeah we meant to go right that's what you said right right so while you're having a look at the map we need to go right down that way then look at this mist I'll tell you what I'm going to fast forward time a little bit and see so now it's at one o'clock and yeah see it's still there you've still got those little bits and that's the bit well on PC you can turn that off Right, so going back to fuel, and we're burning, yeah, we're at the five, these are high. And it is burning less, but not that much less. I prefer to have the more speed for it anyhow. But I will do some more videos with this one, and I've got some heavy hauling. It'd be good to put a, a decent trailer on the back in and see what it's like because this is a sort of truck it just keeps it will keep chugging along no problems whatsoever come on then get on the gears yeah there you go yeah i'll tell you what i've been playing this game for eight months and i still sit there and watch the vehicle slowing down and i'm like what's it doing it's like just bang it into gear keep forgetting to do it but I've been doing it a lot more lately so it's only taken eight months you can see a bit more of the terrain on this Rogers point and you can hear my dog snoring in the back there <laughs> there you go but see what I mean about the terrain it's pretty awesome loving it this is what's going to keep the game interesting all these new maps they've got to keep coming out and then we will have plenty to do but especially when everything works a little bit better but i don't think that's going to happen until it's all released come on then we've got a bit of a hill until phase four drops we're still going to get bugs and see what i mean it will just it slows down obviously and just just chugs it along gets the job done I'm sure up this way we did have yeah there it is there let's just put a marker 
on that watchtower and then we'll head up towards that way. And there's that little trail going off there. No, just stick to the main road. You know what'll happen. You'll go down the trail. You'll roll the bloody truck. You haven't got autonomous. Come on, get right there. And what we got here then? Truck services. Okay. Alright, I think we yeah, we frame this way, isn't it? Through the mud. And let no issues with that whatsoever. The behemoth flying through. And now we can go, I thought there, there might, I bet the road was the opposite way, wasn't it? But, not an issue. We can take that tree out, I think, can't we? Yeah. And then we'll head our way, take that tree out. And we're there, we're at the watchtower already. Come on, bit of low gear, let's get up there. Bit of diff lock on, watchtower open. Fantastic. And look, it's not damaged. Normally after I've driven a skate, I would have it so damaged that that's the thing when you do have too much OP. It's good fun, but it's not that realistic and you just damage your vehicle, you really do. Also what we got going on down this way then. This doesn't look like the way to go, but we can go down there, I think, can we? Of course we can, especially if we go around that side. Oh, there's a little route going down anyway, so let's head over. Whoa, slow it down, slow it down. Oh, you. That was just stupid. I was even thinking, well, you haven't got autonomous, so you're screwed, aren't you? Bloody hell. Yep, you are. And you got nothing near you whatsoever and to go back to the garage. Unbelievable. What a idiot. It's always the same. You just see yourself doing it and then you think, and then it was too late. I thought it was gonna give me a bit more warning than that, but never mind. Never mind. That's why ideally I shouldn't be skating in a truck where I really, I shouldn't have got down there because I haven't got autonomous. So whatever happens, it was gonna, and badly but never mind so let me know in the comments what you think about the behemoth titan eight is it eight one three or eight three one i see too many mods on the monthly base titan eight one three by zyden so like i said there has been an update and the thumbnail has changed today so that makes me think that the update for this one will be here today and he's added a a uh, cooler version of bright orange now, i'm not sure if that would be a separate mod or it'd be in part of the pack it'd probably be in part of the pack but we'll have to wait and see so that's it for today's first look at the behemoth titan by zyden and fantastic nice to see more mods to the console and we really do i know everyone bangs on about we need more skates but we don't, we need trucks. Trucks is the main thing, we don't get many trucks. We do get quite a few tweaked trucks, and it's always nice to see new mods rather than new tweaks in the game. So that's it for this SnowRunner console mods mod review on the Behemoth Titan by Zyden. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, why not go and check out my other episodes? And did you know I have a story on you? And if you didn't, where have you been? Thanks for watching. Till next time, goodbye.